It's like finding a needle in a haystack, environmental scientist Rafael Casanova tells Action 4 News. For months, he and his team have been searching eight miles of water, looking for something that they're not even sure is there. Over the months, they've been able to narrow down those eight miles to three. We're mostly finding the highest contamination between the Arroyo Colorado and uh, Valley View Road. Uh, so we're kind of narrowing it down. But still, it's a lot of water to cover. Since Monday, crews have been up and down this canal at least eight times a day. They're looking for PCBs, or polychlorinated biphenyls. It's an environmental pollutant that causes cancer in fish. It has other effects on children and adults as well. Dragging behind their boat a piece of equipment that's supposed to detect these dangerous PCBs. What it, what it is is basically uh, the boat is carrying two coils in the back. Uh, one's a receiver, one's a transmitter. Mm -hmm. And what it does is transmits signals back to the receiver uh, to let us know whether there's, there's any very metallic objects in the subsurface, in the sediments, uh, that could contain chemicals. So far, they haven't found anything. You know, if you guys don't find the source of this, what could happen? Um, <laughs> well, if we do find the source, the, uh, the fish are going to continue to be contaminated. Uh, we need to find the source, and that's the purpose. Casanova says there are 209 types of PCBs out there. While they're not testing for all of them, they will make sure all ground, or in this case water, is covered to keep those living in the valley safe. And Donna, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.